Hi, welcome back to the Three Sons Foods YouTube channel. I'm George and this is Aiden. And happy Cinco de Rhino. Cinco de Rhino is a day established by the International Rhino Foundation to help raise awareness and money for the rhino conservation. To celebrate Cinco de Mayo, Cinco de Rhino, and, inter and the International Rhino Foundation's 30 year anniversary, we would like to showcase a recipe using Diablo Verde, which we so happen to sell to raise money for rhino conservation. Since Cinco de Mayo celebrates the Mexican army's victory over France at the Battle of Puebla, we would like to stay true to the Puebla region of Mexico and present an authentic dish called Chicken Dinga. Of course, with our Diablo spin. Hi, I'm Luke, this is my lovely assistant mom. Take it away, mom. So, today we're making chicken tinga, which is traditionally a shredded chicken recipe with a chipotle pepper sauce. However, we're going to be improvising with some Diablo Verde. So, Luke, would you like to introduce the ingredients? Of course I do. This is six cups of water. Boiling. Two pounds of chicken. About three chicken breasts. Twelve dry tortillas. Yellow water. And this is one-fourth of a cup of canola oil. Tomatoes. Cut uh, into pieces. Yes, it's it's a big ripe tomato cut into pieces. Pepper. One teaspoon of pepper. And salt. Four teaspoons of salt. Cheese. Coteja. Garlic. Garlic. So four cloves of garlic chopped. Onion. It thinks a, a yellow onion. Onion. White. Yellow. One chopped yellow onion. No, we give yellow chopped. Corn Shredded onion. iceberg lettuce and. One seven ounce can of chipotle peppers and abadoba dipping that sauce. <laughs> ah, sorry. Okay, so right now our water's boiling. We're gonna put in half of the onion, half of the garlic, half of the salt, and all of our chicken. And we're gonna pickle it. We'll be right back. The water's boiling. The water's boiling. It's time. So our water is boiling. We have put in there half of the onions, we put in there half of the salt and half of the garlic, and now we're going to drop in our three chicken breasts, which is how much? Two. Two pounds Nine. of chicken breast. And that's going to broil, and it's going to be awesome, and then when it's done, we're going to teach you how to shred it up. We'll be right back. So our chicken is done, and it smells amazing. It smells so like chicken and garlic. And onions. <laughs> onions. You know, okay. Onions. So we're gonna just take out our chicken breast. And if you have time, I suggest that you let them cool before you shred it. But we're not gonna do that because I'm impatient. We are gonna Cheese. keep this water for a little bit later, and I'll tell you why in a second. Okay. It's very flavorful. Okay, so what we're gonna do, so we don't have to use our hands, the easiest way to shred this is of course with your hands. But because it's hot, 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 and it just came out of the pot, we're going to, did you want to, you work on this one and I work on this, oh, okay. And so we can just shred the chicken with the forks. And that's how we're gonna shred the chicken. And we'll be right back and show you the next step. We're gonna add our one fourth cup of canola oil. You can use whatever oil you want. And then we're going to pop in our, the rest of our onion, the half of the onion. Okay, and I've got one teaspoon of pepper. And I've got the salt. And then I'm going to add the chipotle. So then I'm going to cook this so it's translucent. Great. Look at this. Come right here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, yum, 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 yum. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so while that's cooking and he's shredding the chicken, getting ready for the next step, we're going to go ahead and add in our tomatoes. There might be a bit of old blood in here. <laughs> uh, mix that up and then you're going to add in your two cloves of garlic, okay? I mean, this is going to be amazing. Let's see. Okay. Okay, 
So I'm going to use the medium Diablo, okay? You can use mild, medium, or hot. People always ask me, how is it fun working with your kids? It's so fun. It's so fun. All right. It's so fun. She loves it. It's so fun. She's enjoying it. What's it like working with your kids? Oh my gosh, I love it. She really does. Oh, I got red lipstick on him. Okay, I'm going to bleach my face. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now our chicken is done and we are ready to assemble our tostadas. And you can use the chicken tinga for burritos. Um, uh, nachos, whatever you know, there's a, okay, so, um, please don't scratch my nonstick. So yeah, basically you just layer it on. Whatever you want to garnish with, you've got the chicken here, um, and I've got the cote hot cheese. Oh my. I love this, and it goes so well with like the smoky chipotle, and um, then we've got our viapo on top. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, stop, me more. No more. Okay, and then I've got tomato, and of course, some shredded, some shredded iceberg lettuce. You can use whatever lettuce. If you want some kale on top, you can make this even healthier. And of course, our favorite avocado. Yeah, I'm not gonna even be able to, like, this gonna fall off my plate. Oh yeah. So yeah, so so this, is a, this is a great, easy, it's a great easy dish. my hair. What? <laughs> All right. Happy 30th anniversary. And, and happy you. Cinco de Rhino. Cinco de Rhino.